Hey everyone, I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV and I have hashtag the people's promoter. Slow news day. Have hashtag trust Tom. <laughs> I have Tom Loeffler, a uh, promoter extraordinaire. You know what? You made magic happen. We broke the glass ceiling for female boxing. We finally got female championship boxing, any female boxing on, on HBO. We uh, <laughs> pioneered having a Kazakh fighter on HBO. Pioneered having uh, Chocolatito uh, as the flyweights uh, open up the door for the flyweights on HBO, and now having Cecilia Breck, who's in her toughest fight against Kelly Reese. Kelly Reese is a former middleweight world Kaylee. champion. Kaylee, Kaylee, that's right. Reese. She, that's she right. called us all she out. Did, correct. Yeah, I, I, I saw your interview. So <laughs> Kaylee Reese, who's a native, Native yeah. American, which I didn't know. But uh, shout out to, uh, you know, she had, uh, I, I have uh, some friends, uh, Native Americans, and they uh, have some really interesting, what was her name? I'm going to quiz you now. Remember? I couldn't feathers, say uh, uh, something. Moving Feathers. Yeah. Um, and I, was, See, I thought you were going to ask me to say her failed, actual, well, okay, do you know her actual, um, <laughs> no. it is Moving Feathers, is it Moving? Yeah, moving? Was, yeah. Moving Feathers something. See? But the significance is uh, Kaylee Reese, former middleweight world champion, mm -hmm. is coming down two divisions to challenge uh, Cecilia Breakus because she's the undisputed welterweight champion. Kaylee is much bigger, and this is going to be a, a very uh, tough fight for Cecilia. But this is the type of fight you need to have to get on HBO. You can't get on HBO and then uh, not be in this type of fight. So when you have Cecilia Breakus paired together with Triple G, the best female boxer in the world, the best male boxer in the world, that's a that's a huge uh, night for uh, for HBO. When you made the fight. Um W the at the at the Gennady uh, Vanez thing at Glendale. Did you already know Kaylee was the the uh, opponent? No, at that time. Uh, you didn't even know if you had a fight, really. Well, at that time, Chocotito was going to yeah. be the co-feature, uh, actually, and also a very good fight. Can you uh, clarify why he's not on this card so people know and understand? We had everything uh, agreed to. We had the opponent agreed to. The opponent signed the contract. Who was actually a very I shouldn't say opponent, a very a good, good, yeah. uh, good fighter. Uh, fighter Guevara from. Uh, from Mexico, mm -hmm. um, so uh, also a former world champion. So, uh, but Chocolatito uh, was ready to go. He was in training, and uh, because of the political unrest and instability, his manager sent us an email saying that uh, they are having issues getting the visa from the U.S. consulate. And uh, you know, uh, so if we do that again, we gotta make sure that Chocolatito. We've never had a problem with Chocolatito uh, getting his visa in the past, but for this particular situation. Uh, or date, uh, it was an issue. Um, so Superfly three, maybe that opened up. Uh, yeah, yes. Superfly three might Putting be uh, <laughs> September here in uh, Los Angeles on HBO, but uh, uh, that opened up the door for uh, Cecilia. So uh, Cecilia was always going to be on the show yeah. when it was uh, Triple G and Canelo in Las Vegas on HBO pay per view. She was going to be on the undercard because Cecilia really her re revenues generated from Norwegian television rights. Mm -hmm. Now it's a huge opportunity on HBO, but because it's such a late start time, it pushed everything back in Norway. But it's uh, th this is such a great opportunity, it's a great platform for uh, for Cecilia, and I really think she has that star quality. That once she has the exposure, just like Triple G, Triple G was a great fighter. Once he got on HBO, everyone loved him over here. When Chocotito was a tremendous fighter. Once he got on HBO, everyone loved him over here. So I think uh, Cecilia has the same. Uh, potential sky's the limit with her marketability uh, uh, d her dominance in the ring and uh, her character outside the ring I think she really has a, a great future here in the States yeah and you know and that's just the co-main event and you I, like female boxing. I love female boxing I go you know I always root female empowerment and you know this is this is history in the making she's made history over and over and over, and this is a really, really good thing for boxing. Yeah. Now, they say that's the co-main event. I think really that's the main event. But this is she your main event. She will steal the show. She will steal the show. Uh, steal the, show. The, the women's fights might steal the show. They, you know, the thing, the thing is, just like with Triple G, Triple G was on HBO, Kazakh fighter that nobody knew who he was. He knew he had to put on a great performance. Mm -hmm. That's why Abel Sanchez trains him every time he's on TV. He trains him. You got to put on a good show. Some of these fighters, they get on HBO, they have a boring fight, and people don't want to see him again. Yeah. You know, Triple G knew the pressure was on him. Chocotito knew the pressure was on him to perform. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with uh, Cecilia. If uh, if it's not an entertaining fight, then uh, you know it's going to be uh, a negative for for uh, women's boxing but uh, definitely uh, looking forward to uh, to that and i think uh, both triple g and uh, cecilia are going to rise to the occasion yes
Well, like I said, that's the co-main event, which I think is the main event. But you also now have you the main one, yeah. event. You got yeah. two brawlers. You got two boxers. You got one hungry, so hungry, yeah. that has nothing to lose. You have one is hungry, that has everything to lose. Tell me your thoughts on the big fight. Boy, Finally, the big fight that is, you've been working so hard for. You know, the West Coast media, the people that are educated and familiar with Von Ist, mm -hmm. he was the Olympic representative yeah. for the U.S. team. He said he was the best Olympian. That's right. Yeah? yeah that's that, right. And, and Triple G knows, uh, you know, knew everyone uh, at the amateur level at that time. He had been to all the world championships, the uh, the Olympics, obviously, and, and uh he knew uh, that Vonis was at the top of that uh, at the top of that class. This is one of those classic situations. If Triple G is not 100% focused because of everything that happened, all the transition going from Canelo from Las Vegas here to uh, Los Angeles and StubHub uh, to Vonis, it's uh, you know Vonis is hungry. There's a reason why you know, he's number one in the WBC, mm -hmm. but there's a reason why he hasn't fought for two years. Is that it's not his fault? Yeah, it's not three fights fell out. In fact, he was supposed to fight Suleski, who gave Danny yeah. Jacobs all he wanted last uh, last Saturday. In fact, Vonis was the favorite to, f to beat Suleski. I so. interviewed him at Hollywood Fight Nights, and he told me, I happened like to interview, yeah, yeah. and I, I interviewed him. He's like, I'm training for a fight. Um, Suleski, I was like, oh, good luck, and now fast forward. So he was here. already in the training camp. When Don King called me, he said, Vonis is ready to go. He's been training for a fight. That fight fell out, and he wants a Triple G fight. So, uh, it just it made sense. Vonis is local here from uh, L.A., from the yeah. Glendale area, has a lar large fan base, and he's willing to do all these uh, publicity events. When's the last time you've seen a champion, a unified world champion, going to the Challengers yeah, gym? The gym? Yeah, that was, that was, that event. was, that was telling. And so um, it's going to be a celebrity event. Did you invite Canelo? <laughs> it is a fair question. It's boxing. There's someone that looks like Canelo, might be his brother. That, uh, is oh, I know, the American there. Canelo, yeah. American Canelo might be there. Okay. Chris Cyborg is supposed to be there. Uh, Ronda, Ronda Rousey, Rousey is supposed to be there. She has the same trainer uh, mm -hmm. that uh, Vanas has. In fact, she that was the gym that we went to go visit her with Triple G um, yeah. when she was uh, you know, still fighting in the UFC. Um, there's going to be a lot of celebrities out there. A lot of other athletes, uh, NBA players are, are coming out and... Uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a fun night under the stars in uh, Southern California. Boxing under the stars. And the last thing I'm getting tweets and people are asking me, is there going to be a watch party in Vegas at MGM for the people who bought tickets and stuff out there and they're kind of stuck out there? We're working on that. We're working on the sports books uh, showing it so that we're going to in, in conjunction with the MGM and with Mandalay Bay, we're working on sports books showing the fight. Uh, for their, for the, so we'll make the official announcement. Hopefully by tomorrow, there's still some moving pieces on that. Takati's very supportive of that. You know, Cinco de Mayo weekend is, is a great weekend in Las Vegas. Great weekend here in Los Angeles. Don't forget Ryan Martin is on the show. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's undefeated, and he's going up against another Colombian who's hungry, Bradis Prescott. Bradis Prescott. Yeah. And Amir Khan just had a big win, right? Yeah. And who did Brias Prescott knock out? In the first round in 54 seconds, like Prescott. Yeah, so very, they call very, him the. Con the conquer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the conquer. And that's what it says on his box rack. <laughs> the, uh, and it's a big step up for Ryan Martin. So uh, to be on these type of fights, Ryan's got a did fight. You, did you invite Amir Khan? Uh, I he, think that's a really good invite. Maybe. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> good idea. And then Ruslan Madayev. Uh, yeah. He's going to be on the show. He's 11-0. He's fighting a guy from Mexico, undefeated, 21-0. Okay. Huge step up for Ruslan, trained by Abel Sanchez. Yep. Brian Ceballo is going to be on the show, right. who was on the Hollywood right. Fight yes, Nights, made, his, made, pro made his pro debut. How many right. Mexicans do you have on this card since it is Cinco de Mayo? One, two. Yes. You got that they got the girls. <laughs> fight, fight Mexican style. Yeah, you know what? Right, Mexican style, too. It's somewhere here. Mexican style, too. Jesus, okay. uh, Jesus Perez is uh, from Mexico. That's He's 21 and 0, from, uh, and he's going to be fighting uh, Ruslan. So it's okay. going to be uh, it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be a great show. It's a huge opportunity for uh, for Cecilia, and uh, it's going to be a showcase for uh, for Triple G and, and for Vonis. Oh, this is so exciting! You guys, belts are on the line. Champions, we're gonna we could have new champions. We might not. We don't know. But you're going to have to find out. Cecilia is the only fighter in boxing with more belts than Triple G. I has know. Right I have been saying that she's the only undisputed female out of even the males she has all the belts she's got the bling sorry Gennady you know 
I know she's undisputed and she's also undefeated. So, but you know what? History is it's going to be made Saturday on HBO Stub Up Center. You guys tune in. It is going to be an incredible card. Oh, we just released uh, some more hundred dollar tickets today for the fans that want to uh, come down. So, uh, the more more important question is: Did you guys release Gennady's Jordan? <laughs> I just texted with I'm our Jordan saying. rep today, and I know the fans are waiting. I think, uh, I think hopefully I think media by media should all get something. <laughs> tomorrow or uh, Thursday, we should have okay. the uh, Jordan apparel out officially. That will sell out in like two minutes. So make sure just make sure buy you your watch tickets. The social media, Twitter feeds, and Instagram, and and we'll be announcing. Uh, the Jordan uh, gear here shortly. I think you guys should raffle off some Jordan gear and <laughs> tickets. It's, pr it's it's promoting, right? I'm just, you know, I'm just, I get a percentage of that promotion because I put it out there. All right, guys, tune in. Big, big card this weekend, Cinco de Mayo. It's going to be fireworks. It, oh. Last thing, there's a Tecate Fan Fest. Starts oh. at 3 The doors open at 4 o'clock. Don't miss the undercard fights, but Tecate Fan Fest starts at 3 o'clock. Goes from three to seven, so we're we're uh, supporting the tailgate. Uh, people love to tailgate. Mr. Boxing G. Guru's tailgate. Mr. Boxing Guru is going to be uh, planning the. Uh, we went out to go see them at the forum, yeah. and the Stub Hub is a great place to tailgate. It's going to be warm weather on uh, on Saturday, Cinco de Mayo weekend, Southern California. Don't miss the show. All right, just what he said. All right, guys, this weekend HBO, great bites all around. So make sure you guys tune in. I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV. See you guys at the fights. Bye, guys.